guys welcome back to our channel ui path rpa learners hope all are doing great so as part of today's video we are going to see about what is screen scraping in ui path and what are the different methods are available in the screen scraping okay so what is screen scraping in ui path a screen scraping in ui path helps us to extract a, a text from a specified ui element so okay you can have a question so we, are, we can actually take it from the get text right yes you're right so from the get text also you'll be able to scrap a text but a specific text value a certain text but the screen scraping methods will provide us a different options to scrap the old target ui element so let's see how to do that So in the UI path, we have an option called the screen scraping here. So this will enable us to extract the data from the specified UI element. For today's example, actually I'm going to use this RPA sample website. So in this website, let's see how what is actually scrapping it. Okay. So here, uh, why I've chosen this website is this website in this combo box, there are hidden values present in it. So when I show you different methods in UI path, it will actually help you to understand how the scrapping it works. Okay. So as I told you earlier, <clears throat> there are three different methods that are available in the screen scraping. Native, full text and OCR. So the native method helps us to uh, scrap a visible text from the UI element. What is a visible text which is visibly um, you know, available in your uh, screen. And what is it, uh, full text as its name indicates? So this is helpful for scrapping your a complete data from a UI element, which is inclusive of your hidden values. What is OCR? So many of you have an idea about OCR. So this is optical character recognition. So OCR actually helps us to scrap the data from a <coughs> any of the image files. I mean to say. So this will consider the target UI element as an image and it will try to scrap the text value from it. So let's see an example of all the three and see how the scraping it works. So let me open the website uh, application in my backend and I'll go to a screen scrapping. I'll hit on screen scrapping. I'm sorry. I'll hit on screen scrapping. And I will try to denote this field. Okay. Okay. Let's see. If you see here, by default, the scraping method is a native method. So in this method, if you see only the visible text values. So what is there here? The select your birth month alone, it's scrapped up. Right. So let's see. We'll, we'll just <clears throat> try to switch to a different scrapping method and see how the scrapping will work. So now in the drop down, I'm selecting the full text. I'm just clicking on refresh. So if you see it here, what happened immediately? So the data which is present hidden in this uh, combo box in the drop down, which is not actually visible to your eyes if you see it. So only upon clicking your uh, drop down, you will be able to see the values of your all the 12 months, right? But by using the scrapping method called full text, all the hidden values also scrapped. You can see perfectly, right? <clears throat> a, full, a full text scrapping accuracy will be for sure 100 percentage, okay? And you have a scrapping options as well. Suppose if you want to go for a full text and you wanted to ignore a hidden, so you can just select on ignore hidden, right? So this is the way that you can scrap your native full text. So the methods only will be available after you selected your target, you can choose your scraping methods in this combo box. Okay. Okay. So how do I get the value from it and how do I use it? Right. So now I scrap the data. If you see, yes, my data is perfect. And this is a preview that is giving you right. And my data is perfect. And I wanted to take it to further automation. Maybe I wanted to write it in an Excel file or anything. Right. So now I have given here and click on finish. What happened immediately? By default, like a data scraping, all the values, all the activities are already, you know, coming in automatically in your uh, designer panel, right? So, 
So when you click on this, you get full text. So this means this is the activity which we used, which is nothing but our full text scraping method, a get full text method. So by default, the variable is created, right? So when you open it, <coughs> so variable is created, select cell man, and this has the value of which is scrapped from there. So how do I view it? So let's see. So for the demo purpose, let me use a message box. And what is a variable which is created? Select cell man. So I'm just selecting that option. And let's see. My program is running right now. So you can see in the message box, it displayed all uh, this full text value, which is scrapped from the website, right? So this is the way that we can use your scrapping methods. So I told you, right, that there is an one another option called the OCR method. Let's see an example of an OCR method as well. For that, I have one PNG. So you can see it here, the format is in PNG, right? And there is a few data which is present here, the text values, right? Let's see how do I get it, uh, whether it is scrapping from this or not. So for your better understanding, I have deleted the previous one and I will click on the screen scraping. And this time, let's target this PNG format. So you can see it is automatically chosen the scraping method as an OCR because your target element is in the image format. So that's why it has chosen an OCR and you can see it is clearly copied all the data from your, uh, you know, that specific image file. So the OCR, different OCR engines are provided by UiPath. So by default, it will take the Microsoft OCR. So let's change into desktop OCR and see the accuracy of your results. So based on your accuracy, so you can take your, you know, you can finalize your scraping method. So you can see this is what is done. So let, so now <clears throat> we know clearly about this. So now let's do to the native and refresh it. So now you, your path will tell you this is not suitable. You can see it here. A native method has failed to scrap this UI element because this UI element is an image file, right? Okay, fine. So this is the different ways that you can scrape in your screen scraping methods. To quickly reiterate from the beginning, a screen scraping is a method which is useful for extracting a text from a specified UI element. There are three different types are available. One is OCR, full text, and then native method. So native method will help us to capture only your visible text and a full text which is help us to capture your hidden text value and the OCR method will help us to capture the text value from your image files as well. Okay. So, okay. Now you will have a confusion. Then what is data scrapping that you have explained earlier in the session? Means in the earlier videos, right? So data scrapping. So if you see in the data scrapping, it, I told you earlier in my videos, a data scrapping, it is useful for scrapping a, a pattern based data. Okay. Uh, like I have shown you an uh, e-commerce sample website, an acne website and all we have verified. 
So any data which is of the same pattern, a similar pattern which you have identified, your UI path will be able to capture it, right? But in the uh, screen scraping, it will not look for a pattern data. It is any kind of a data from the UI, UI element can be captured, it, right? So just to quickly reiterate, so what happened in this, uh, you know, uh, let's try to So, for example, I'm giving this, I'm opening the, uh, you know, link, uh, no, uh, specific site for the search. So, when the data scrapping, what you will do, you will identify a certain pattern and a similar kind of a pattern you will give the, to the uh, UI path, the second same kind of a pattern. Then this will be able to identify, if you see it here, based on the pattern. So, this will identify a similar kind of an element. What is so? What happened here? A data scrapping will look for only a pattern based element. A screen scrapping will look for any kind of a uh, text from a specific UI element. So that's a difference. Okay. So thanks for watching the session guys. Uh, please if you're watching our video for the first time, please do subscribe our channel, like the uh, video, share it with your friends. Thank you. Have a great learning. Bye. Have a great day.